So many factors go into great looking skin. It turns out getting a youthful glow is a package deal. Take a look at some great advice in this week's Hello Beautiful. We've talked a lot about what to put on our face to have younger looking skin. Today we are tackling those habits with your lifestyle to keep your skin looking young. It's time for Hello Beautiful. So we came to the spa at West Glen. Dr. Heidi Cook joins us now to give us some great advice uh, for that youthful glow. Yes, yeah, so lots of lifestyle things that you can do. And the biggest one is the sun. Can't so, we just take a pill and just have young looking skin? <laughs> Isn't that nice? That would be perfect. Uh -huh. Someone would be very rich on that. <laughs> it's true. So yes, yeah, sun protection, obviously sunscreen, but really looking for all the other little things, wearing a hat, looking for shade. Um, a big one, I think, is that the UVA rays, the aging rays, do come through window shield or um, glass on the car. Oh. The front window shield is better protected, but the sides, it comes right through. So, so even if we're not seeing like problems like a, like a tan or a sunburn, we could still be aging You our can skin? still be aging your skin. Oh, yeah. okay. So sunscreen all the time. So that would be the first one, so the sun. The second one is a hard one and that is stress. So cortisol, which is your stress hormone, can um, increase oil. That's why sometimes when you're stressed, you break out. And it can also cause more inflammation in your body. So mm. cortisol is a problem systemically, not just skin, everywhere. Weight, all the things, right? All the things, <laughs> yes, all the things. So that is the second one. Then you get into exercise. So exercise, good for the entire body, but it increases circulation even to the skin cells. So huh. when you increase circulation, you increase the delivery of nutrients and also of oxygen. So those benefit every cell in the body. Interesting. So, uh, yeah, so exercise, um, nutrition. So nutrition, um, this is what's hard for a lot of people. You know, the biggest one is sugar. And so, but it is such a strong correlation to eating sugar and aging your skin. What happens is the sugar attaches to proteins and collagen and elastin are some of its favorites and it attaches to those and starts breaking them down. Collagen is the support and the firmness to your skin and the elasticity is the elastin. So when you start breaking those down by this sugar attaching to them, you start getting the sagginess and then the wrinkles start to form. Oh. So sugar is a big one. Um, water, drinking water, that's always, um, when you have hydrated skin, it looks younger, more plump. Um, and then other than that, it's just eating a healthy diet to make sure you get a lot of vitamins and minerals and everything like that. But sugar is the one to watch out for. I've noticed that if I do go, uh, you know, not eating sugar and then start eating it again, my skin just gets yes. all out of whack. Yeah. Yeah. Um, another one is alcohol. Oh. So, yeah. So alcohol <laughs> can, um, it dehydrates the skin. So you have that issue going on. Um, and it also contains some sugar, especially when you're looking at um, cocktails and wine. Mm. So same issue with the sugar attaching to the collagen and the elastin. Um, plus, we just tend to not eat as well when we're indulging. So alcohol is another one. Smoking. So people who smoke, the nicotine that they um, take in constricts your blood vessels. And so when you have constricted blood vessels, your cells are not getting enough nutrients, they're not getting enough oxygen, and that is um, directly seen in your skin. In addition, when you smoke, your immune system doesn't function correctly, so any little wound that you may have is not gonna um, heal in a timely fashion. Hmm. So, smoking. Um, sleep. It's called beauty rest for a reason. <laughs> so sleeping is the time that your body repairs. And so you do need seven to nine hours in order to let your body repair the DNA of any damage that got through during the day. Um, so sleeping, very important. Um, and then the last one really is taking the time for rejuvenating the skin. And whatever that may mean for you, of whether that's a home mask, if it's a spa treatment, doing something to help um, self-care. 
that also could help with the stress, right? <laughs> exactly. Yes. Well, Dr. Heidi, thank you so much for this great advice. I feel like yeah. this is great for our skin and just overall wellness, really. Yes, it is. It's all, it's a package deal, really. Great refresher. Thank you so much, Dr. Heidi. And of course, you can set up your appointment at the spa at West Glen by calling 515-416-8562 or go online to spawestglen.com. You can find so many helpful beauty tips and tricks by following Dr. Heidi and the spa on social media. Those handles are right there on your screen. Do you know how to wobble? <laughs> These Des Moines firefighters do. Coming up, we'll teach you how and let you know how you can help break a world dance record.